Imagine a world where a total stranger can walk up to your digital front door and peer through the walls without a key, a password, or even an invite. Right now, as we speak, over 80,000 MongoDB databases are wide open to a flaw so severe it's being called the heart bleed of 2025. Could your company's most sensitive query results and session tokens be floating around the public internet right now? How much is your data worth when the very compression meant to speed up your network is actually handing over your memory heap to hackers? Welcome to Startup Hacker. I'm Spencer, and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. We aren't talking about a maybe scenario. We are seeing active exploitation in the wild that bypasses authentication entirely. Today, we are breaking down MongoBleed and why your database might be hemorrhaging data without you even knowing it. The situation with CVE 2025-14847, or MongoBleed, is rapidly evolving, and frankly, it's a bit of a nightmare for anyone running unpatched MongoDB instances. We're seeing a repeat of history where a small oversight in a common library leads to a massive exposure of sensitive information. I've spent 25 years watching these patterns, and this is one you cannot afford to ignore. Before we dive into the technical details, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment below letting me know what database you're currently using. Reading your comments is my favorite part of the day, and it's truly the best compliment you can give me. This vulnerability targets how MongoDB manages compressed network messages, specifically using the Zlib library. The server mistakenly uses the allocated buffer size instead of the actual data size when sending responses back to a client. By sending a malformed packet, an attacker tricks the server into overreading and returning fragments of its internal memory heap. The scariest part is that this happens at the network transport level, meaning the attacker doesn't need a username or password to trigger the leak. Leak data often includes previous query results, internal server pointers, and even session tokens from other active users. Security researchers have already released public exploit tools, making it easy for even low-level attackers to scan for victims. Recent global surveys show that over 80,000 MongoDB instances are currently exposed to the public internet and potentially vulnerable. The flaw affects a massive range of versions, stretching from the newest 8.2 releases all the way back to legacy, end-of-life versions like 3.6. Because legacy versions are no longer supported, they will never receive an official patch, leaving those users in a very dangerous position. We are seeing active exploitation right now, so if your port 27,017 is open to the world, you are likely already on a target list. I'd love to know if you've ever had to handle a major security patch on a holiday weekend. Drop a comment and tell me your horror stories. It's the best way to support the channel, and I love chatting with you guys. The absolute first step is to upgrade your server to the fixed versions, such as 8.2.3 or 8.0.17 immediately. If you can't patch today, you should disable Zlib compression and switch to safer alternatives like Snappy or ZSTD. You must must ensure your database isn't reachable from the public internet by using strict whitelisting and robust firewall rules. This is exactly why we emphasize security at StartupHackSecurity.com. So what's your take on this vulnerability? Think this could be a major issue? I really enjoy engaging discussions, so drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Because at Startup Hack, we're passionate about helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out today and let us help. Check out StartupHackSecurity.com.